everyone. Recently purchased uh, security cameras for the house and was trying to figure out the best way to put them or install them actually under the eave. As you can see, I got vinyl siding along with the uh, vinyl soffit and didn't really want to put anything behind the vinyl soffit like blocks or anything because it seems like when you go to screw anything to it, it not only puts holes in it, but also deforms it. So after thinking about it, and one of the things I came up with and wanted to share with you was basically what I did is I bought aluminum strip, as you can see, just a piece of aluminum, uh, probably close to a quarter inch thick. You can get this at uh, Home Depot or any hardware store. They usually come in about three foot lengths. And so what I did is I measured under the eave. I measured right to here, as you can see, because it goes in right to here, out to this side, out to the edge, about quarter inch less. So then what it is, I cut a strip and then I actually found some paint that matched my soffit, as you can see, and painted the strip. And then what I come up with was a smaller piece like this. As you can see, I marked this one left front at the time, probably uh, changed it in a different position. But and then what I did is I used a template that came with the cameras and screwed holes in it. Now, when you put the screw the camera to it, um, you're going to have them stick out the back a little bit. What I did is I just took a grinder and ground them flat. So this way here, it wouldn't screw up the soffit or poke holes in it. Now, when you, you, you will have to take maybe a piece of the soffit out in order to put the wire through up there. And I'll show you what one looks like installed. As you can see, this one down here. As you can see, I put the wire through the back side and it goes up and then um, slid this piece in there after I screwed it together um, or screwed the camera to the piece of aluminum. And then after I slid that in there, then you can see it's sitting up there. What I did also was just put two, some silicone on each side just so it won't move around. Uh, one of the things I found with these cameras as well is you want to keep them as close to the edge, not too far back, but close and pointed down as much. Otherwise at night, the infrared will uh, cause them to look a little bit washed out. And that's really just because of reflection from the infrared cameras. So as you can see this one here, I, when I put it in there, I actually put an extension to help it come out a little bit. It doesn't really have too much whitewash um, because it's tilted down pretty good. Uh, again, trying to hide it behind the gutter just for concealment. So, after you cut the piece of aluminum, just want to show you what I did. Is as you can see this piece here, which if you screwed the screwed the camera here, it would um, be towards the back. You could actually have it in the middle up towards the front, depending on where you want to mount it. But all I did was basically tilt it in here and then set it up in the edge. And then you can adjust it. See it? It's pretty secure. Um, with this one, after I secured it, you can see the. Uh, I actually drilled a hole in it and put just a soffit nail in it and then put a screw in the back. Now, this piece here that I extended out, I just riveted just so it looks nicer. And then this way I extended it out a little bit. And you can see the wire come through here, which is usually just pushed push the side a little bit. The nice thing about this is if, if you want to move the camera, there's really not much damage or to cause this off it. You can actually just take either, uh, if you siliconed each corner, or if you did a nail, you can actually just pull it out, put the nail back in, and then remove this out, and then you're good. Because a couple things I found is, I put the cameras up in a couple places outside, and then thinking of the, uh, after I installed it, was like, well, maybe I should reposition it. So I moved it to a different part of the place outside, and it was actually uh, better fitted for it. So, again, just want to share that with you. Uh, some of the things I think about, one of the things is, you know, with the soffit that we have, some of this stuff they don't make anymore, and it's hard to match if it does break. So I hope, uh, good luck on your installation as well, and... Thanks for watching.